Hey guys, it's a rainy day here in Central Oregon, and it's a little on the cold side. So I got my super cool swag I got from 310 Pilot. 310 Pilot, if you see this, leave me a comment below. Um, so today we're not going to go flying, so I figured why not make an airplane tug out of electric wheelchair. Check this out. I could do this all day. <laughs> all right, so here at my garage, we uh, I already took the seat off. It was super easy to take off. There's only eight bolts holding the thing on. And started disassembling the wheelchair. Um, took all the plastic off of it, which was super easy to do. Um, took the batteries out of it. Um, this is where the batteries go into this battery holder. They slide in from the back into it. So I mainly wanted to get down and check out the framework on it to see how hard this is, is going to be um, to make a tug out of it. And I guess there's a couple ways I thought about doing it. thought about making a bar that I attach to it and just tow the plane out like you do manually. Um, but I figured with no weight on the wheelchair, uh, the wheels would probably spin if there's a little bit of ice or anything like that. So much rather get the wheel, front wheel of the plane up off the ground and get some weight on this wheelchair thing. Looked at the manufacturer's website. It is rated up to 600 pounds. So it's got plenty of uh, weight capacity. And uh, so my idea is that you know, I'm gonna make a ramp out of this uh, footrest here. So you could just, the wheel's gonna come up, front wheel of the plane's gonna come up into the center there. Um, and then I got to thinking, well, I don't want the wheel to be fixed inside there because I don't wanna put torque on the plane at all when I turn left and right. So I'm gonna make a, some kind of system um, where the wheel goes up and then the wheel can rotate 360 degrees. guys got back from the airport and found out a little bit of bad news uh, the Comanche tire is kind of an oversized tire so it's 16 inches tall um, so we measured between the two frame rails and it's not going to be um, wide enough to put the wheel up there and have the wheel stay in the same spot while we move the tug 360 degrees around it um, so I'm going to have to cut the center out like I was talking before, you know, cut the brace here, cut the brace here, and in the two spots in the back that take this whole center unit out. And then I'm going to cut that back bar there and uh, basically made it wider. So I'm going to, between the frame rails, I need to make it about 20 inches um, to have plenty of room, which is no problem. It's going to make the uh, wheel base wider um, and then the idea is that I'm going to refix this whole center unit not in the place where it is now but farther back um, I don't want to stack the batteries thought about that I want to keep it low profile um, so the battery is going to stick out the back that battery tray holder is going to stick out the back 
And then I'm gonna refigure out another place to put this brain and also maybe turn this around so it's over the top of the batteries to make more room. And kind of what I'm figuring is the wheel um, needs to kind of be centered right at this point, pivot point here. Um, that way we get weight on all four tires, um, but mainly more towards the big drive wheel tires on the front. So five minutes later, no problem. Made those four cuts and the whole center came out as one unit, which we're, uh, we're gonna modify that a little bit and put it back in. And uh, like I said before, we need 20 inches between the rails and we have uh, 12 and a half now. So we're gonna uh, get some metal cut right here and then we're going to extend that out essentially the only thing that's holding the whole unit together is that back bar now because uh, we cut the frame on the front bar on each side which will uh, weld back in some down brackets to hold the cradle there all right so here we go we uh this is where we're at right now um, we got that center out and uh, we needed a wide end to 20 inches. So we cut this back bar here, um, found some rectangle tubing that would slide over the top of it and then welded it back in place, making sure everything was square. So we had 20 inches from, uh, from this point here to this point here. Uh, the fancy tire is 16, so it should give us plenty of room. Uh, welded these flat iron brackets on here. Um, kind of wanted to keep a low profile so I didn't go with anything different. And then uh, we put a quarter inch plate steel right in the center where the tires So I uh, got to reuse the battery box that was off the old wheelchair and uh, made some supports for it. Mounted it just a little bit behind where it was in position before because of that cradle. And now we're gonna stick those uh, batteries in and see how it fits. Okay, here we go. So the battery box is mounted with the batteries in it. And because I used the old battery box, I was able to reuse some of the plastic. So this is where you unscrew those yellow nuts there and you can pull the batteries out. Uh, also use some of the plastic on top to kind of hold, hide the batteries. So we'll take that off and so you can see. So there's the batteries. Kind of neat to have that uh, reuse the plastic and stuff in there. Well guys, another rainy day here, but we're out here at the airport and got the tug all finished. Um, had to make some modifications to it, which I'll explain, but um, we're gonna hook it up to the plane and see how she does. So here's the airplane tug, it's all finished. Um, I did uh, make some modifications. Originally I was planning on using that foot rest as a ramp, which didn't work out so well. Um, but the good news is because I eliminated that, I was able to lower this platform down and get it lowered to the ground. So now this is essentially the ramp. Uh, the wheel goes up into the ramp, into this cradle. Um, made some super cool hooks here. So you just bring that up, it cradles the wheel, and then it can spin 360 degrees around. So you don't put torque on the landing gear at all. And, uh, yeah, other than that, um, ended up putting a little hand winch so you can winch the plane up into it. Um, thought about doing an electric winch, but decided, you know, I just wanted to have more control over um, actually bringing the plane up into the cradle. So, um, yeah, so here's the finished product. Looks super cool. And uh, we'll check out, see how she performs. <laughs> 